When I think of Pokemon, I think of Pokemon Red and Blue. You know, the first ones. Not because I've been around long enough to give dirt its name, but that was the last ones that I have any experience with or own, uh, outside of Snap 2 on the Switch. Now, if you haven't heard of Pokemon at this point in your life, you're living further down the cave system under my rock. Niantic and Nintendo have made slightly less money than God at this point with the amount of merch, games, cartoons, and movies they've stamped out over the years. Which brings us to today's sponsor. We're, we're, we're still working on that one. But it does bring us to the meat of the video. Pokemon Go. Now, we won't be covering everything in this video. The amount of Pokemon alone is staggering, and you need to know how to use spreadsheet with the amount of types there are. The game is a bit deeper than just throwing enough balls in something's face that even early 90s and aughts teabackers get a little bit jaded. So what is Pokemon Go? It's a glorified step counter with a collection game, Gang Warfare, don't take kindly to your types in here. and microtransactions. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a kid's game. Yes, but actually no. Uh, take a look around next time you're at a park or out at the store. Chances are there's a few people playing it on their lunch break or just for fun. Bite me, coward! When the game first came out back in 2016, there were Craigslist ads for people hosting ride shares. And this was way before Lyft or Uber was a thing or as common as it is now. They would have the route laid out with what kind of Pokemon were on that particular route that day, the Pokestops, how many gyms there were, and which particular Pokemon gang controlled an area the most that day. But for a price. It was pretty wild back in 2016. The exercise portion of the game works with the black magic and demonry of today's smartphones to track where you're at, your steps, what the area is like, what sorts of Pokemon from the pits to summon, the usual stuff. No man of woman Walking also adds steps to your eggs. It's a fun little mechanic they added so that when you walk, the progress goes to hatching your very own Pokemon and to add microtransactions too. They can be anything, usually something about as useful as an open window in the International Space Station though. Yeah. Now, what to do with your recently acquired surf animal? Catching a Pokemon yields some of their respective candy and some stardust. The candy allows you to power up your selected deviant with the help of the stardust or to evolve them into whatever angry tentacle monster that happens to be down their Darwinian path. You can take your nightmare creature out into the world and make them fight for you, be it against other players in gyms, players in Pokemon Cup, or cooperating with other humans to take down a raid boss. It's inevitable that eugenics rears its ugly head in the game, so you start weeding out the Pokemon you don't want. Then you start getting rid of the 1 and 2 star Pokemons just to get that 3 star. And then you get the inevitable conclusion that 3 stars are trash and you're after the perfect Pokemon. And you will put down an entire species to get one. Well, the lazy professor you're transferring all your hard earned time and Pokemon to for a piece of candy will put them down. At least that's what I hope happens. Now whatever game colors you're rocking depends on what you can do at a gym. You can spin for an item regardless if your colors are represented or not, but that's it. You can drop off one of your phone demons or go into straight gang warfare and take out your opposition. I mean personally, when I take down a rival gym, I just like to leave a low level Pokemon with the most absolute disrespect I can possibly muster in tapping a screen. I mean, what's your encore? Do you like anally rock my mother while pouring sugar in my gas tank? In a raid, it's not uncommon for the boss to squad kill you, so get good. <laughs> the Poke Leagues are vicarious gladiatorial arenas where your Pokemon can fight it out for cash and prizes. Mostly prizes. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. The computer will even determine which ones are the best job, or you can assemble your own A team and slug it out. You get three Pokemon and two shields to bring some pain to your opponent. Then you run into piles of cartilage like this, who will vibe check your whole line. Bring your A game and don't break rule one. During the course of play, you'll run across the infamous rocket balloons. A board, you can fight grunts or a special rocket leader. Again, simple enough, but the leaders actually put up a fight unlike the grunts. They can also be found pillaging Pokestops. When you spin them, they get mad that you're stealing what they're stealing, and you have to fight. There's even a special radar that tracks these locations so you can serve up some no-knock warrants. And you even get a chance to steal one of their Pokemon 
my opinion on the game is this. It's okay. It has enough free content for a casual such as myself, or if you're the kind of person with a money gun with a flamethrower attachment. It's a game for everyone from kids and up. Get out there, walk with the family, catch some Pokemon, and that's going to be it for Pokemon Go. Remember, it is up to you to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that good stuff will be in the description of the video below. And while it is not required, it is always never unappreciated that you do like or subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one.